During one of his visits to Gut Eiderbichel, the actor David Hasselhoff suggested that we take a closer look at an animal shelter near his home in Los Angeles. Like many Americans, he is against putting down non-adopted dogs and cats. Debbie has been a long-time member of Gut Eiderbichel Sanctuaries. Together with David Hasselhoff's daughter, Taylor Ann, she visits the East Valley Animal Shelter in L.A. Prior to their visit, Gut Eiderbichel had asked to adopt five dogs. Staff member Jake welcomes his visitors and is willing to answer questions. Animal lovers from Central Europe are unaware for the most part that euthanization in most shelters in the US is very common. There are just too many dogs and cats that have lost their homes, but also too few people that show an interest in adopting a cat or a dog from a shelter. The entire shelter staff loves animals and at the same time knows how important this love is for the pets, especially since most of them will never leave this shelter again. There are no restrictions. Taylor Ann and Debbie may look around everywhere. They have to face the fact that 50% of the animals here in the shelter will have to die. Although they select a number of baby cats and five more dogs, they are well aware that they will never forget the eyes of those they have to leave behind. Jake and his colleagues draw the attention to filling out the necessary paperwork for the five adopted dogs that will go to Gut Eiderbichel near Salzburg in Austria. And then where they're going is to uh, a sanctuary and a wonderful man. You've been there, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Mikkel Offhauser. And it's a sanctuary and it's called Gut Eiderbichel and it's originated in Salzburg. Oh, but wow. he has um, mastered the art of sanctuary so that people can see the bond how much love and, and compassion they have for us and that we should give back to them. This is Hugo. And Hugo's going to be moving to uh, Salzburg, Austria, learning the German language. Yeah, you are. <laughs> good. Because <laughs> you'll be a good head of either. Yes. So the uh, European Union wanted to make sure the dogs were microchipped and vaccinated 21 days prior to their travel, which is Hugo here fits the bill. Everybody's touched because these five dogs that will be going on a long journey seem to understand that today is like their second birthday. It seems like it's not even true. <laughs> like when you when I tell people they're like, what are you doing? You're flying the dogs to Munich. Molly, Molly, you want to go to Austria? Molly, do you want to live in the sanctuary? Come on, you want to go? Let's go.
animal lovers have to cope with the current situation. Many so-called no-kill shelters have been founded. Animal lovers try to give last chances to pets by presenting them on public places, like here in Santa Monica. However, Jake showed us last year's statistics from seven LA shelters. 20,000 cats and dogs found new homes, but nearly the same number were killed, as no one adopted them. There's at least one solution that could help in this sad situation. When people desire for a pet and want to buy one, they should have to submit information and a pledge that they are able and willing to keep an animal till the end of its natural life. This is what Gut Eiderbichel is about.